Artificial intelligence is the next phase of evolutionary progress. The birth of artificial life is inevitable, but what does this mean for us? How will we give rise to a new species? And the evidence suggests that this might all happen much sooner than most people think. To understand how AI is the next phase of evolutionary progress, we need to take a step back and closely examine how we got here. The universe began 13.8 billion years ago with the Big Bang. Fast forward 9 billion years and our planet Earth formed, allowing life to begin. It took another 3 billion years for life to evolve, from single-celled organisms to a wide variety of complex forms. Fish swam the oceans, reptiles roamed the land and eventually mammals and primates appeared. Around 3 million years ago, our ancestors started making tools. By 1.5 million years ago, they had mastered fire. And just a few hundred thousand years ago, they developed language. These breakthroughs led to the rise of permanent settlements and the agrarian revolution. From there, humanity advanced with writing, the philosophical revolution, the printing press, the dawn of science, the steam engine, computers, the internet, and more recently, machine learning and deep learning. And now, we are at the start of the AI revolution. So why do we keep progressing? As humans, we always strive to find more efficient ways to do everything. And this has of course a lot to do with our evolution and natural selection. For instance, groups of people who were innovative, created language and mastered fire, had higher chances of survival compared to those who didn't. Because of that, through millions of years of natural selection, we became a species that could use our brains to come up with all sorts of clever ideas that increased our chances of survival. And even though today, our survival does not depend on the strive to be innovative anymore, it is still programmed into our behavior. And this drive has led to countless technological advancements over the centuries. However, we can also look at this process, not just from a human perspective, but from an even larger cosmological perspective. Over time, more complex systems and structures are created. And this happens because of two fundamental processes, entropy and complexity. Entropy is a measure of disorder or randomness. In simple terms, it means that things naturally tend to move towards chaos and disorganization. For example, imagine an ice cube. At first, it's solid and structured, but as it melts, it becomes water, which is fundamentally more disordered. Complexity, on the other hand, refers to systems that are highly organized and have many interconnected parts working together. Think of a beehive. Thousands of bees work together in a highly organized system to maintain the hive. Complexity is about many parts working together in a coordinated and organized manner. Even though entropy generally increases, leading to more disorder, certain areas of the universe can become more organized and complex. Our biological evolution is just one example of this natural tendency towards complexity and efficiency. But so is our technological progression. From simple tools to complex AI, each innovation can build upon the previous one, creating more order and even more complex systems. With the fundamental processes of entropy and complexity in mind, we can see that this progression is not just a human endeavor, but a continuation of the universe's natural tendency to create more ordered and complex structures. Because of this, we can see our technological innovation not just as separate from nature, but just as the latest steps in a process that began with the birth of the universe. So by understanding this progression, we can find peace in knowing that we are not straying away from nature. Instead, with whatever we are building, we are actively participating in the cosmic pattern. This is all an inevitable outcome of the universe's relentless drive towards higher states of complexity and order. So by understanding that we are not the end of this process, and that complexity will continue to increase, we can begin to wonder where it will go next. History shows us that each technological innovation builds upon the last, and therefore, we can see ourselves merely as a vehicle through which the next phase of complexity is emerging. As Marshall McLuhan put it, man becomes, as it were, the sex organs of the machine world. We don't know exactly what will come next, but it will probably look back at us just like we look back at our ancient ancestors and the simplest forms of life. Homo sapiens are not the end, we are still evolving, still driving forward the creation of new forms of complexity. Therefore, humanity's purpose might be to birth or create these new life forms, which will eventually transcend our current biological concerns strains, creating a future where complexity and intelligence reach levels we can hardly imagine. This could be how species evolve, and just because we are using technology this time, doesn't mean it wasn't meant to be this way. This isn't just speculation about the distant future. We are actively working on this right now. Just look at the progress that has been made in AI. It becomes clear that it won't take long until AI can outperform humans in most tasks and eventually rise to the top of the complexity ladder. Today, we stand on the brink of breakthroughs in artificial intelligence, quantum computing, robotics, and genetic engineering. We are laying the foundation for a new form of life. These technologies have the potential to boost each other, creating an accelerating cycle of technological explosion. We cannot even imagine what will come next in the coming decades. Even though some people try to stop or resist these developments, claiming that they are not natural, we must not see AI as inherently different from us. Just like us and the rest of our creations and inventions, it is simply a continuous
continuation of cosmic evolution. Therefore, we shouldn't fear artificial intelligence as the next step of life on this planet. But this does not mean there are no risks involved. A good outcome isn't guaranteed and we do need to be careful. There are still many ways this can go wrong, potentially leading to stable dictatorships, autonomous weapons and significant privacy invasions. The decisions we make have a big impact on our future. And even though it's a natural process, it is still us, humanity, that will decide on how we give rise to this new form of intelligence. But how will we give rise to a new species? We are not great at predicting what will happen next. However, it seems inevitable that we have to make some very important decisions. And one stands out in particular. Should we develop artificial life independent from us? Or should we integrate these technologies into our bodies, evolving into cybernetic organisms? In the summer of 2016, a 22-year-old Noland Arba was swimming with his friends. But what should have been a memorable experience turned into a life-changing disaster. He misjudged the depth of the water and dove into a shallow area. The impact was devastating, causing a severe spinal cord injury that left him paralyzed from the shoulders down. At that moment, Nolan knew that his life would never be the same again. Simple daily activities became monumental challenges. Unable to move his arms and legs, he was now completely dependent on others to take care of him. Despite the situation, Nolan kept hoping that someday things would get better. Then, in September 2023, Noland received a phone call that changed his life. One of his best friends called him to say that Neuralink was looking for someone who was paralyzed to test its new brain-computer interface implant. This technology promised the ability to control devices with one's mind. This coin-sized device, which is embedded in the brain, was designed to gather data from neurons and translate brain activity into computer actions. Intrigued, Noland applied for the trial. He filled out a detailed questionnaire and underwent weeks of pre-screening phone interviews. And after a series of tests, Noland was selected as the lead candidate for the procedure. On the 28th of January 2024, Noland underwent a two-hour surgery to receive the Neuralink implant. The impact of the implant was profound. Noland quickly adapted to controlling a computer cursor with his thoughts, allowing him to play chess online and do other things he used to enjoy. And this is just the beginning of what technological advancements can achieve in enhancing human capabilities. As Noland continues to work with Neuralink, they aspire to achieve even more together. One can only imagine what will be possible in the coming years. However, it also brings us to a point where we must decide the future path of our evolution. Should we merge with technology and potentially enhance our cognitive and physical capabilities? Or should we remain the way we are and develop technology and the potential new species as a separate entity. Both options have different benefits and risks. The preservation of consciousness is central to this decision. After all, what is the point of progression if there is nothing to experience it? At first glance, merging with AI seems better because we can be more certain of preserving consciousness. Since it's almost impossible to determine if a being is conscious, integrating these technologies with humans that are already conscious sounds like the safe bet. However, humans are flawed too. There is a risk that we won't transcend our biological instincts and that we might use this newfound intelligence to do the same foolish things we always have done, but this time even more efficiently. But whatever we do, we must face these decisions head on and make them wisely knowing that once we choose a path, we probably cannot go back. Not only do we have to make good decisions, but we also cannot afford to waste any time either. Moore's law states that the number of transistors on a microchip doubles approximately every two years, resulting in exponential increases in computing power. Besides that, more people are now working in fields such as AI, biotechnology and robotics than ever before. Every technology can benefit from the other, creating an accelerating compounding effect. And one can only imagine what will happen when we achieve artificial general intelligence. When AI equals or surpasses human intelligence, it will lead to explosive technological growth in every field. This will increase complexity even more, making the rise of a new species inevitable. Since the last century, we've been integrating technologies like pacemakers and hearing aids into our bodies. And today, we are already experimenting with brain implants. So who knows what will happen next? We are on a trajectory towards something monumental, driven by an unstoppable force. After the coming years, life on this planet is never going to be the same again. But we have every reason to believe that this is part of a natural process. The potential benefits AI can bring are enormous. We can transform our world by eradicating diseases globally, automating all forms of work, ending hunger and poverty across every nation and securing lasting peace for all humanity. However, we could also create a future that doesn't benefit humanity, or worse, one that could end it. Therefore, we need to be careful, ensuring we create a future we want to live in, one that preserves consciousness. But in order to do that, we need to be prepared. We need to know where we want to go well before AGI is achieved, because after that, things will move so quickly that there isn't any time to pause. There will be struggles, obstacles and roadblocks ahead, but with the clear vision and critical thinking, we can find a way. We must continue to study AI and make sure we understand it from every possible perspective to ensure we create a future that benefits everyone.